Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for joining me in another crushing e-commerce video. My name is Travis Patel, and in this video, I'll be talking about how you can check out the data reporting on your ads so that you know the exact stats of what's happening and you can adjust appropriately uh, according to those numbers. So, after you've had some ads running, you had some traffic coming to your site, you can actually see some numbers to make those adjustments. And what you're going to do after about three, four days of having an initial ad come up is you're going to see what's going on and you're going to make those improvements so that you can make more money, have better return on your investment and all that good stuff. So to check out the Facebook ads reporting, you're going to head into the ads manager and on the left side you'll see the link for reports. And I'll bring you to this screen right here, which has all our kind of data broken down um, with all our campaigns and all that stuff uh, that we can even dive further into. So first off, we want to talk about what data we can look at here. So first off, we can check out customized columns, and it's going to give you all the different options we have. There's a lot of unnecessary statistics here and data, but there's a lot, a few things that you really want to pay attention to. So when I'm checking out my reports, I always like to check out things like reach. I want to see how many people out of the audience I've actually shown this ad to, because if we're advertising to our suggested reach of you know 100,000, more than likely only you know 75, 80,000 are going to see that in the ad life where there's a good portion that won't, and we want to know exactly how much per percentage-wise of the audience have we hit to know and determine how long we can run an ad campaign. Frequency, that's important. We want to know how many times a single person sees our ad on average. So this again co comes into that effect of the retargeting and showing your buyer and your potential customer the product more often because it takes seven to ten views before someone actually buys. So that's important to know just our frequency. Plus, when you start hitting really high levels on your frequency, you know, five, six on your frequency on, a, on an initial ad, it might be time to shut it off because it's getting ad blindness. Uh, impressions, I don't really care too much about. Actions, people taking action, don't need any of that really. Cost, cost per 1,000, cost per action. Amount spent, we definitely want. Um, engagement actions page likes we like to see we want to see how many people are commenting how many people are sharing I like to see how many website clicks came through alright cost per action now these are things that we, we like to know as well I like to know how much cost per website click is going on it's really all I need to know there videos we don't do that websites now here's where we have the conversion pixel comes into handy because we can start to track those conversions those sales so we want to definitely check uh, and track the checkouts for our conversion pixel and we want to check out and we want to make sure we track the cost per checkout of the conversion pixel all right conversion value these are things we can set when we have an uh, we know how much we're going to be making per sale on an ad. That's something we can do later. Apps, we're not using that right now. These are all different areas that we can check. All right, clicks. Don't need unique. unique. Click through rating, good. Cost per click, not necessary. Campaign name, ad set name. And that's about it. Applying, and it just will give us our, our data. Now we can add filters. And this will allow us to break down into the campaign. So let's check out one of a, a good campaign recently. We'll do Master E. All right, so we had two ad sets in this campaign running, and we're getting some, you know, all the data that's going on over the past seven days. We've had reach on our on our ad set here. Let's see where we're at. Oh, we don't want ad set ID, we want to ad set name. There we go. All right. So we know that the 17 to 25 year old women, I've gotten a bunch more reach, but just thinking about it socially, 17 to 25 year old women is much more higher chance of engaging on your at your post because they're a younger crowd. Where the 25 to 54 mothers, 
have a much less likely chance of engaging on your post. But after the statistics and we dove in, these have been the better uh, sellers out of the group. As le- we'll see if that's still held up over the past seven days. So we've had you know three times as much reach in the younger cr- crowd. Frequency of 1.09. That's nice and low. Clicks. You know, a lot more clicks from the younger crowd. Click-through rating, pretty good. Both accounts, amount spent, they're equal. Uh, page likes, a lot more still coming from that tire group. Shares, comments, cost per website, cost per checkout. I've had no checkouts come from these two ads the past seven days, it says. So that's something we need to look at as far as turning them off. We have a, for this campaign, it has been dying out because it's a graduation shirt and it's the, the end of you know, two weeks after high school graduations have happened. So we've just been letting this go on, kind of building our custom audiences for the, the college freshmen jumping next year. But we can see there's no checkouts going on this one. Uh, lots of shares, lots of comments, lots of interaction. Let's see if we've got things showing up here all right so for this one we've had nine checkouts on our WC ads gives you all different ad sets going on the breakdown but you can see how you can monitor the results and what's working for you um, simply by seeing your know, cost per checkout this is going to tell you your ROI are we spending we're making ten dollars per shirt let's say and we're spending $2.77 to make that sale, it means we're making $7 every time. So that's just some quick math, easy to do with the reporting. This is very important for being able to adjust appropriately and making those, those right moves to make more money. So hope you got a lot from this. In the next video, we're gonna talk about the ideal metrics we're looking for, and especially in our first round, ads and then how we're going to think about scaling and what makes a winner to move forward with. So I'll talk to you guys soon. My name is Travis Patel. See you in the next video.